Hi Taurus, welcome back for your November reading. If you're new, welcome. If you're needing a booking, link below. Okay, we'll get straight into your reading. Now, your chakras that we are tuning into this month are for your personal boundaries and your inner child. Now, it may be in a sense that you need to eat yellow food groups this month to keep your, your chakra balanced. And it might be that you're using it in a passionate way to try and manifest in some new situations into your life or what you're passionate about. But you're going to need to be very careful to take that aspect of responsibility and accountability in anything you're manifesting in or you're interacting with because you don't want the double whammy of the manifestation, which is the double-sided sword. Uh, because a lot of times if we're manifesting from a very pure intent point of view, which is heart chakra related, it comes in very naturally because we have this aspect of deservingness of it. If we're trying to move through the matrix and we've got the ego connected to it, we've got fear-based energy or... If I don't say X, Y, and Z, this person's not going to accept it. Um, what we get is the manifestation, but we get the double-sided sword. So just be careful with that balance, okay? Now, when it comes to your wealth sector, it can be that family members are needing a lot more cash. It can be that the money is going out quicker than it's coming in. It's also, you know, it might be where you're feeling spiritually, gosh, you know, why does this keep happening? Um, you know, if you're focused in on what you don't want to spend, I'm feeling it's going to come where you have to spend it, but it might be that you're thinking something is bigger or something is smaller than it physically is in the sphere of finances. Um, try to not just keep your vision very tunneled, uh, cause you can see the image on the card. It's almost like you've got your eye on the goal. Um, it may mean that you do need to have some expenses, you know, and, and spend some money on certain areas, even if there is a current goal. Also, I do feel that the expense trigger point in an aspect of triggers can be childhood wounds and your boundaries with finances have come to the core and they're coming up and resurfacing for you to have a look at and purge. So be careful, keep grounded and understand where the trigger's coming from. It may be that you need to be a bit more playful and understand that that's a deservingness that you have and that the innocence of within can be recouped by balancing that chakra, as well as, you know, any choices you make don't have to be defined by yesterday's choices. Try and move through where you're um, starting fresh and you're nurturing that innocence within you. Now, when it comes to your happiness sector, it can be you're looking at love and you're realizing that you are a manifester and you're realizing you do have power in your life to create or attract what you're actually wanting. You don't want your feeling as well for those of you who are single. It's like, oh, I know I've got the power in my hands, but do I want it? How much work is it going to take? Where do I find it? Do I find it under a rock? Um, because some of you might have left a connection and, and you're thinking, hey, am I ever going to be connected again? Others of you are wondering if you even do want this and if this directly does define your happiness. So your paradigms are definitely changing, connected to what equals happy to you, but it's going to be highlighted this month and it can be that you're having healthy boundaries to attract what you feel is correct for you. Be this at the family level or within your current relationship, whatever that frequency is, it's either you physically see that going the long haul or you physically feel you know what will go the long haul and something does not equal that. What you're not seeing, some of you, beneficial beliefs feel better when I am thinking them. So it can be that you got used to looking at something in a particular way. And again, I am noting that you're looking either into your mind or ahead. Now, a lot of times when we do that, it's like we're what would the word be? We're in two places at once, okay? So in our mind, we're thinking back. We're thinking to a person or an event or a time when we were the happiest. Then we're having another point where we're, how do I put it? We've got, we're looking at what we have directly in front of us and we're like, that does not equal that. So that wasn't quite what I bought. It's been a journey, okay? It's been a spiritual journey, an emotional journey. The relationship perhaps is taking you on a journey. Your life is taking you on a journey. Can be for many of you, you are thinking back onto a particular person or a time. It can even be you're looking at how you used to be and you're like, where has that person gone? You know, was that me? Is that who I am these days? What do I want from here on in? So the unseen 
is perhaps a person you haven't seen in a long time coming back. Uh, can also be that a journey um, comes about where you have to travel very quickly. It can also be that what you were thinking about is going to be smack bang in front of you. So be prepared. Okay, actions, transformations and potential um, ways to look at something. The thoughts, I think, determine the relationships I attract. If you feel spiritually, you're only entitled to the nasty type. That's what's going to happen, okay? So try and keep the frequency correct to what you want, not tuning into what you don't want, because if you're tuning into that, it's going to come. So if you are in a current relationship and you're meditating upon a person you haven't seen, well, yeah, more likely you're going to see them. So try and be careful and very correct in the way you are meditating upon certain people. It can be someone you were quite faithful to or a connection you feel faithful to. Keeping your mind correct to, you know, your personal boundaries, nurturing yourself, looking at the innocence of the connection and staying in that frequency. Um, also, it can be that something didn't end at an emotional level and it may resurface again for those of you who that this is relevant. Now, relationships, couples, for those of you in the past who felt something didn't quite go according to plan, it might be that, and I'm hearing this is at a financial level, it may be that you're thinking, gosh, why did I waste the cash on that? Why did I really do that? I should have followed my intuition. Now, it feels this is directly you, that you're feeling this to the core. And for some of you, it can be that you're a bit frustrated at your partner or a person who suggested you should do such, but you, against your better judgment, you may have done something at a financial level. Uh, this can be how it was last month for you guys and it's moving into this month where you're thinking and reflecting upon that frequency. It can be that both of you are having to work very hard to get the relationship where you need it to be, where you want it to be. It can again be external influences, which is finance, but something is moving quite quickly and that can be a position or for you or your partner or some sort of a transformation is coming through for you guys. Can also be contracts related, uh, either a wedding certificate, you know, taking this to the next level. Although I'm not feeling that, I'm more feeling financial contracts can be house, land. That's a correct house, land, um, severing contracts for some, but I'm feeling uh, financial, but. I'm, I'm seeing a home. I am seeing a home connected. So home in some shape or form may be relevant for you guys. Okay, it is going to be a complete change. So yes, it can be. Now, those of you who are in between, not knowing what to do, fence sitting, it's going to take a lot for you from the Venus through to now to get balanced. Okay, so it can be a balancing act really wondering what to do. The pride can be blocking communication or a decision for you to be made. As well as you know, if you move through a door, you know there'll be no turning back. So you're really trying to gain your bearings before making a major decision so that you can have the best out of the situation. I feel you guys need to, couples and singles, be very careful with your cash component this month because I do feel um, there may be emergency finances going out where it'll come at left field where you don't, you weren't quite ready. Okay, now the heart of the matter for those of you who are single, you have hope in your heart connected to a romantic partner, a person you are meditating upon currently. Now in the past, there might have been delays in relation to this connection. Uh, and you might have felt that maybe you made an incorrect decision or perhaps they did in making a judgment with this connection. Now, presently, be, be careful because uh, it can be seeds of ideas. This can be a very fertile time as well. Uh, it's, it's a very ambitious card, so... It might be that you are focused on your career and trying to move things forward. It might be that you have a radical plan of how you're going to tackle a situation. Uh, but this can be also connected to, I'm hearing, the sign cancer. Uh, so 
can even be their rising signs, but <clears throat> it's feeling you're ready. It's like you're going to win the war for something. What? I don't know. <coughs> for some of you, it may be conflict connected to a past tense partner, very separate to this heart related person that you are wanting to manifest in. So that's a very separate message for some of you. Um, I do feel some of you actually may see a person from the past that you're actually not wanting to see, or you may have communication about them or from them in relation to what is going on. But it's going to take you by surprise if this message is for you. you you're hoping it's not so, but for some of you, yes, it is. That's all I'll say. Okay, I'm going to love you and leave you. If you are wanting a booking, like I said, the link is directly below. Hopefully in the new year or maybe by the end of the year, I'll have Vimeo open where I will be doing extension and in-depth love readings. And I will tune into them and we will talk then.